Because it crashed. Oh, shit, it didn't crash. Holy shit, it didn't crash. Ladies and gentlemen, we got no notifications. It didn't crash. It did not crash. It went to white for a few seconds, but it did not crash. It did not crash. Let's find Marinita. Yes. Marinita. We got to find uh, the other thingies. <laughs> yeah. Oh no, the gumball machine! I mean, that's what there's a fucking crack in the floor now. <laughs> New Sam and Max season. And crushed. Yeah, I'd say so. Oh, there it is. <laughs> And the glitch count is already up. I'm keeping that in. You know that? I'm keeping that in. People have to know. <laughs> Let's go into Bosco's for real this time. Hey, it's a straight and narrow street sign. Yeah. Has it always been there? Yeah. Oh, I thought it was just in there. <laughs> I forgot about these. Um. Nothing says inconvenience like a full body search before you can buy your candy cigarettes and all day suckers. You have been deemed not unacceptable. <laughs> it's paranoia. It's, it's hideous. Claw my eyes out, Sam. I can't bear to look at it. Not if I claw my own eyes out first, little buddy. I'm not willing to disguise. Yep. Say, Bosco, what's hey, guys, does my package sound like it's sticking to you? <laughs> Not your best pickup line, Bosco. Oh, I don't know. I think my package is the bomb. Now that's a pickup line. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What, no hilariously inadequate disguise this time? Sam, 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 you poor naive fool. Don't you realize the time for disguises is past? Yeah, you poor naive fool. Don't you realize that? Quiet, that knuckle. The guys that never protect you from THM. Them? Who's them? That's exactly what I'm trying to figure out. I'm watching, I'm listening, and I will find THM. Fucking Bosco's paranoia. It's founded, though. <laughs> it's so fucking amazing. I remember that episode where like he literally was getting spied on by the US government. <laughs> yeah, hold on, hold on. There, there. <laughs> there, there. <laughs> it's very Homer Simpson's like the scream, isn't it? It's just amazing, you know? There, there. I could do this all day. I know you could. There. That's what fucking worries me. <laughs> there, there. Off too many times. <laughs> no. What's with your store? I'm not sure if this is fucked. Ain't a store no more, man. I haven't noticed anything. Look, I've got a hundred trillion dollars and a thousand faceless enemies. I don't need to sell anything. That's right. Place open. I'm a secret person. Ugh. Fancy dance scanner, Bosco. Tools are necessary. Tools are the only things that separate us. <laughs> that probably plays a little better with the Mondog and Rabbit ground. That's why I need the personal <laughs> That was fucked. That's just paranoid. Technically, yes, it is. Ugh. <laughs> the store looks uh, interesting. It ain't a store no more. And did you know people who say that something looks interesting are more likely to be serial killers? More likely than who? Than non-serial killers. <laughs> it's a fact. A fact they don't want you to know. Who doesn't want me to know? Exactly. <laughs> Who's your decorator? That's my regard.
search for the decorator. Yeah, what's the style? Early colonial conspiracy theorist? No, a theorist is somebody who has a theory. <laughs> I have conspiracy facts. So, I guess you'd be a conspiracy factist. He's certainly not a cluist. <laughs> He doesn't have a clue. Yeah, I got it. I think, I think I'm going to have to use conspiracy factors a lot more often. You better be fucking sure. Bulletproof edible underwear? I don't have anything. This ain't a store. Do you have any Lords of Leaping and or Maids of Milking? I told you this ain't a store. Hold on, can I piss him off even more? Do you have any inflatable arms capable of being used as replacements for your real arms? Of aggressive payback <laughs> disguised as an innocuous customer inquiry. <laughs> Do you have any? <laughs> it's not. <laughs> oh, why didn't you say so? A trillion dollars worth of detection equipment, and yet he still didn't see that one coming a mile away. Do you have any bulletproof edible underwear? Uh, it just repeats. I was hoping he'd get conked on the head again. It's not a... Oh, forget it. <sighs> Who would send you a bomb? My mother, of course. She sends me one every year, right? <laughs> Your families need tradition. So why don't you just get rid of it? I built that bomb disposal unit for that very purpose. So... <laughs> There's a fucking Sam and Max on the fucking photo thing. be the billion dollar plunger I just ordered. Just open your package, Bosco. Yeah. But what if it's the bomb? I, I thought I heard tickets. You get what we have to do. Just, just get rid of your package, Bosco. But what if it's my plunger? I, I gotta be sure it's tickets. You gotta. You get what we have to do, don't you? I don't. Really? No. Okay. Like we have to figure it out which is which. I'm Max saying. Impeachment Weekly. <laughs> One, two, and three. Volume four comes out next week. <laughs> Max Impeachment Weekly. Uh. Just to send a present to Bosco? You're not old enough. Yeah. And neither am I. But I'm glad somebody's keeping wary of the inevitable pigeon uprising. Surveillance photos, huh? Let's see. Bosco spying on his own bathroom, a director from WARP TV, the L train, and. Hey, wait a second! <laughs> That's an X ray machine. Stable. Well, except for the driver. <laughs> yeah, so uh, you can tell it's a bit different. This is master plan. Boss goes a little behind the times. <laughs> Wait a minute. The theory of everything? So suddenly it all makes sense. I can't see where we fit into all this, Sam. Oh, oh I've got a couple of walls upstairs. <laughs> Yeah, it's a bit of uh, a bit different, <laughs> but still relatively the same. Uh. Oh yeah, and you can see that uh, that package is actually a horse. So uh, yeah, you should probably get a look around a bit more. Oh, that's Jimmy Two Teeth. No, I think that's just a random. There he is. <laughs> hey, my missing boxing glove. That's my lucky glove. <laughs> Jimmy Two Teeth. What are you and your unsavory pals doing in the burned out husk of this robot? The first rule is we don't talk about what goes on in the burned out husk of this robot. Doesn't really roll well off the tongue that well. Oh my god, I remember what the fuck you have to do! <laughs> oh, you'll never guess what you have to do with this. <laughs> the 
this is just straight up punch out. Is it take the fucking music. It is just a fucking punch out joke, which I'm fine with, because I really want to play some punch out right now. I don't think it is, man. I think. Glass that's Jaw! Yeah, but that's a Glass common... Jaw! Yeah, but that's a... it's a common thing in boxing saying someone's got a glass jaw. Still. I think you're just too involved with punch out. I love oh, punch out. I'm gonna use the keyboard for this. It is, because of the body blow. Yeah. You know, body blow. Body blow. You know, fucking... No, fair enough. Right. I know what I'm talking about. <laughs> this is perfect. Body blow. Body blow. Even the fucking music is like a rip-off. You know? We need to play Super Punch yet, by the way. Bald bull rat. No, when you're right, you're right, mate. You see? Ouch! <laughs> Ouch! Does he have the fucking challenge? Ouch! You know, knock him out. See, look at this. It's fucking piss easy though. Not, not as hard as the real fucking bald bull. <laughs> you know. Wait. You know? Oh, that's Jimmy Two Two. Yeah, there he is. Mr. Ratman. Punch him! Yeah, this this guy is two speeds. Put him away. Put him away. Look, dead. I'm right. It's the super exclusive <laughs> war action figure with extra. Hmm, there are pieces missing. I don't see the weapons of mass destruction. <laughs> Who needs them? How can I lose? <laughs> but I bet being a loser helped. You're, you're right. I, I can't go on like this. Goodbye, cruel world. Oh, oh nice going, Max. <laughs> Jimmy's gonna off himself. I always thought guys appreciated a bracing, candid reality check. Your suicide causation rate suggests. <laughs> oh. I'm gonna do it. I'll jump, I tell you. Hang on a second, Jimmy. <laughs> Don't drink shit. I wonder what I could use to do the job. The loser? A nine iron? You're not even listening to me, are you? Of course I am, Sam. <laughs> After you jump, can I have your stuff? Like what? I ain't got nothing. Don't say that. Your pelt looks like it'd make a great pair of beer warmers. <laughs> You know, your wife's gonna give you hell if you kill yourself. Mary? He left me! You're overreacting, Jimmy. Sure. My wife probably never really loved you in the first place. The. Hey, when you jump, try to hit somebody annoying on the way down. Like one of those soda poppers. Which one's the incontinent one again? I couldn't tell you. Boy, you really are useless, aren't you? Wait, is there another big question? Oh, no, there's not. Um. <laughs> Jimmy, this isn't like you. What do you mean? You're not the suicidal type. You don't have the guts or the follow through. <sighs> it's always darkest before the dawn, Jimmy. What the hell does that even mean? <laughs> Give it up, man. Oh, you're right. If somebody as dim as you can tell I'm just phoning an end, why bother? Jimmy, don't you mean see you later? Not after Tuesday when the street sweepers come. <laughs> um, I think what we gotta do now is we gotta like 
go out there and like grab him or something. Pull him off the ledge. Yeah, literally. Like out the window we go, you know. I don't actually think you have to do anything. But no matter what, he won't fall. <laughs> He's just not gonna. So, you know. Well, then maybe he won't leave. Where to, Sam? North Pole. Off to the North Pole. Actually, I think you need to give him a gift. Uh -huh. Yeah, so like... We still need two horsemen, don't we? Yes, we still need two horsemen. However, you need the gifts to get them. Run over there! So now that we're back, right? We can give gifts to people. Back in the North Pole. For example, a foot bath. Or Grandma's Happy Pills. Grandma's happy pills. What's in them? The bottle just says good boys and girls don't ask Grandma a lot of questions about her pills. Let's attach a gift tag. Well. Who would need happy pills, eh? Oh, you can't actually give one to Jimmy. That's interesting. Doesn't make any sense at all. Uh, well... Actually, I can't think of anyone who'd want it. That's the wheel of the field. Well, how about let's uh, do the one we know at least. That's all. I swear you need to give one of them to Jimmy. Apparently not. Obsessomatic stopwatch. Start kids panic ulcers early with a constant reminder that they're always running late. You can hear the precious moments of your life passing with every second. Let's, let's attach a gift tag. Uh. At least we know who to give this one to. What unlucky person should we mail this to? To Bosco. Bos Bosco might like that. <laughs> Anyway, let's go check on our uh, results. Ugh, because that's how we get one of the horses. Is he just, is he still up there? I'm gonna do it. I'll, I'll jump, I tell you. Hang on a second, Jimmy. Have we done this one? You know, your wife's gonna give you. Oh, yeah. This is helping. I disagree, Sam. I feel much better about myself already. <laughs> Maybe you needed that option to come up. I don't think so. But okay. He's distracted, Max. Grab the package and let's get it. Look, Sam! It's the supersized famine figure! <laughs> Realistic binging and purging action! It's got over 1,700 points of articulation! 250 in the jowls alone! Never were good at waiting to open presents, little buddy. <laughs> wait, wait! Where's my package? Dear God! They took it! And they took Sam and Max, too! There ain't no place safe! Yeah, that wasn't probably- that probably wasn't a good idea in the retrospective. Although I think I remembered what to do with Jimmy now. Get in there. Run! Over you. I knew it was like going out the window, but I think- oh no, it's gone. 
thought you had to use the, uh, the thing. Well, the remote control doll, but apparently not. You gotta get Jimmy somehow, you know, like... Anything with a robot in it? Nobody's home. I think one of them has to go out there like, hmm. Odd and confusing. You got anything to say, Max? How are things going with your presidency? The, the winds of progress are blowing swift and juicy, Sam. I'm proudest of the new law I just pushed through Congress. I'm pretty sure he who smelt it, dealt it, was already established during the Eisenhower administration. See anything in here that can help with our Santa problem? 158 things. 172 if you count the nachos individually. Right. I forgot about your savant-like ability to find lethal uses for common items. I meant non-violent. Oh, oh, then I've got nothing. Hmm. I enjoy a little chance. Anything for a friend and registered voter. I can't reach Jimmy from here. We'll have to talk hmm. to him from downstairs. Anyway, um... We've got four horses. Let's Sibyls now. I don't think... Oh, closed. Sibyl's not here. It's closed. I'm having a, lot, a hard time remembering where the fuck the last horse is. Oh yeah, this is like a garage here. There they are. A clandestine meeting at the Computer Obsolescence Prevention Society? The, the cops are obsolete no longer. Welcome to the grand opening of Pimp the Car. The Alpha Sick Car upgrades to a very exclusive clientele. That's a different voice. I forgot they were here. <laughs> what was here before you opened this body shop? A string of unsuccessful body shops. <laughs> what makes you think you will have better luck? A recent influx of road debris will result in the projected 64% increase in revenue. Well, road debris from the main front? <laughs> Oh my god, I, f I think there's like actually a mini game mm. that you have to do <laughs> about the torture me Elmers. My associates were once the most popular toys available, but no more. Beating up a doll cannot compare with the wonder and the excitement of arithmetic and grammar. Uh oh, Max. I think the cops may have been educational toys. <laughs> But Torture Me Elmer is the best! Torture Me Elmer is the hottest toy this season. Elmer appeals to the lowest common denominator. He's a sellout! <laughs> so do you know anything about cars? If we didn't, why would we open a car shop? Good point. Because your lonely forgotten machine can do anything to feel useful? Processing. Oh dear. Import appears valid. Did you guys turn the DeSoto into a hybrid? <laughs> I just wanted to be able to use the carpool lane. Since we're stay in the lanes anyway, Sam. I forgot about that one. We'd like to pimp our car. Please make a selection from the following menu. If you'd like the exclusive Death Horseman hood ornament, press one now. And what else? That is all we have. There was an ordering malfunction. Totally not my fault. Actually, we also offer a wide range of completely worthless decorative decals. That's right, the completely worthless. We want that horseman. We'll take that Death Horseman hood ornament. Excellent. First, however, you must complete the Pimplicar driving challenge. 
Seems more five to ten times more dangerous. Yes, please. Eat my dust. Initiating augmented reality driving secrets. Hold on, can you use it? You can, that's right. Using the keyboard for this. Your mission is to hit the display number of torturing <laughs> the elder dolls. You gotta hit all the elmers! And you must do it in the allotted time. I think I've already hit enough elmers. Ready? Go! Oh, gotta hit all these elmers. Shit. They, they feel real pain! <laughs> this reminds me of the Sonic bonus levels. I think you can also get worthless decals. What's this about decorative decals? We can outfit your ride with a wide assortment of decorative embellishments created by our in-house auto detailing artists. <laughs> How does he do that? His mother was your label maker. Simply hit the streets and obliterate rare objects. If we deem them suitably interesting, we will reward you with a decal to commemorate the joyous destruction. Now that's my kind of game. <laughs> We want some worthless decals. We'd like some of those deck Oh wait, no, we have to play the driving game to do it. We want to play the driving game again. Welcome back. Almost all of us wish you the best of luck. Initiating augmented. Actually I think you just have to I think this is the one, yeah. Yeah, because it increases. You gotta hit, I think. Uh, mm, I don't think you have to hit it here necessarily, but like. Hmm. I think the augmented reality makes it so that these are actual people. They're just lying on the street. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get that many Elmers in that. I don't know. I, know I can do it. You know. It's going to be tight. Yeah, it'll work though. Like, oh, I'm going to get a free mode here. Did it. Yeah, you got to basically. Basically, you gotta keep playing the game to get details. You know? Gotta hit 50 elements this time. My Elmer hitting skill! You know? Ooh. 
I'll just keep playing it until I fail, I guess. You know? Like uh, Bluster Blaster says, YOU WILL FAIL! You know, and Damn shit like that. <laughs> DAMN HIPPIES! It's kind of creepy, though. <laughs> Are we going to be able to hit as many Elmers as necessary? Oh, God. I've got to hit like, ten more of them. Hello? Ten. Where are the Elmers? We're out of Elmers. The Elmers are gone. Well, that's right. I think it broke. I think we were meant. I'm gonna try that one more time because I don't think that was that was actually meant to end. Where are they? Well... I guess we're just sort of driving for 40 seconds. <laughs> the elm is fucking broke! Now we're just driving for fun. Would you like to try the driving challenge now? Maybe we have to refresh it. Yes. Are the Elmers back? Just nope. Ready? Go. Huh. Well. Break the game. That was fun. <laughs> Let's not do that. We got a decal, but I don't think it actually registered. I'm not sure. Oh well, let's just go back. Can we like talk to them? See if we can r register it. Hi guys. No, I don't think we can. Shiny. But the point is, is that I think you can play that game and get like decals and shit. But we got enough horses. 